Hey there folks, sorry we've been away for a little bit and haven't been able to post up any lessons on Excel or PowerPoint or even Word lately. We've been real busy lately. Uh, but let's jump right in here with just a, a new lesson for you. And this lesson we're just going to look at adding a few sheets. If you remember we went through subtracting in Excel using some formulas and how to enter data in these cells here on your Excel spreadsheets. So if we remember right, these little tabs down here identify how many different sheets we have. And the overall uh, Excel book is, a, is what we refer to as a workbook. So down here you'll notice that I have a couple of different sheets. Now how do we add those sheets is a, is a great question because sometimes you'll want to reference graphs and have data on separate uh, sheets so that they don't show during your presentation or other times you'll want to link data. So today we're going to figure out how we can add some more sheets into our Excel workbook. So down here at the bottom there's a little plus sign and this is the easiest way to add a sheet. You just come down here and you'll hit the plus sign and you see that you can add as many sheets as you want. Now there's a couple of different ways and a few neat little tricks that we want to look at. Um, but as you add the sheets, you can come down here and we can also right click. And if we go up here, we can insert different types of sheets. So if we want to see just a, a chart, if we'd like to see um, calendar insights or just a blank worksheet, which is the most common one that you'll use, we can select specialized spreadsheets here. And as we get further on in the training, um, we'll learn more about that stuff. Or as always, if you guys have any specific questions on any of these types of spreadsheets, go ahead and post it down in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But for now, you'll just need to know that these are the different options that you can insert into Excel. And so if we right click again, we'll see a few more options. Now let's say we want to call this one data. We'd click on rename and then you simply just reach up to your keyboard and type in data and hit enter and there's your sheet. Now let's say that we're really visual too and it's important for us to have uh, specific colors to identify what sheets we're working in. Um, we can also do that. We can specify colors in there. So if we come down and we hit the tab color right here, you'll see that there's various colors. Now let, let's say we want to make this one red. So we select red and you'll notice that that tab is now red. Okay, so kind of a cool little trick there. So just a, a simple lesson, lesson on how we can add different sheets in Excel and change the name and even adjust the tab color if we want. So if you remember, just click on this little plus sign or you can right click and um, put click on insert and select which kind you want. Um, and that'll insert a new sheet for you. Now one other thing to note is if you wanna drag these around, you just simply grab on it and hold it down and you can move these sheets all over the place. It's so kinda cool if you got multiple files that you're working with. Um, if you got any more questions or anything specific you'd like to know with reference to Excel, PowerPoint, or Word, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down in the bottom and we'll get to it as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.